Now we can combine these two curves uh, together. Again, any combination, price quantity combination, above the supply curve is acceptable to producers. Any combination below the supply curve is unacceptable to producers. Any combination that's above the demand curve is unacceptable to consumers. Below the demand curve is, is acceptable to consumers. So we have this set of price quantity combinations that are acceptable to consumers. We have this set of price quantity combinations acceptable to producers. Now we know that uh, combination A is one that is acceptable to producers but not acceptable to uh, consumers. We know that combination B is acceptable to consumers but unacceptable to producers. Combination C is unacceptable to uh, both producers and consumers. Combination D is is acceptable to both consumers and uh, producers. Indeed, any price quantity combination that's uh, uh, in this area is acceptable to both consumers and producers. Notice that the competitive market will move toward a price of P1 and a quantity of Q1. That is, it will move to the equilibrium or intersection supply and demand curve. Economists mean that, um, or say that markets are efficient in one important respect, and that is that it maximizes um, uh, output, given what is acceptable to both consumers uh, and producers. That is, any combination from zero to Q1 is acceptable, I mean any quantity between zero and Q1 is acceptable to consumers and producers, but the competitive market chooses the one furthest uh, to the right. In addition, as we will explain uh, in our uh, later discussions, uh, competitive markets um, uh, uh, maximize the surplus available uh, for distribution between consumers and producers. These are the marginal costs of producing these goods, and these are the marginal uh, values of producing these goods. By producing Q1, uh, the market has generated what is referred to as a surplus value, a surplus value uh, equal to uh, this triangular area here, x, y, uh, z. But more will be said about that in the, in the future. I just simply note that this is the maximum gain from having a good produced at quantity uh, Q1. If in fact less than Q1 is produced, for example, Q2 is produced, uh, then notice that we do not get the entire uh, triangle. We miss out on uh, this amount, and we will be using uh, this kind of analysis to talk about uh, the impact of, um, of such things as monopoly, uh, uh, pollution, uh, and a number of other uh, policies. I look forward to uh, working with you using this supply and demand model and talking about the efficiency or inefficiency of uh, not only market behaviors but also government uh, policies. Uh, thank you uh, very much.